You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Robin Baumgarten, Paul Conrad with weather, Aaron McElroy with traffic, Pat Tomasulo with sports, and Dean Richards with entertainment. This is WGN Morning News at 7. After the break, Pat's going to talk basketball with Chicago Bull Nazi Muhammad. He'll ask him about the upcoming season and this memorable play from last year's playoffs. Well, there he is right now. Hey, come on in. He must have been. Get your prop. Bulls center Nazi Muhammad preparing for his second season here with the Bulls, entering his 16th NBA season. He's also got a charity event he's going to tell us about that's coming up tomorrow night. Nazi Muhammad joins us live. Good to see you, sir. Oh, thanks for having me. Good to have you. Look at Shark, as always. Every time <laughs> I see you dressed to the nights, this all has to be custom, I'm guessing, right? You can't buy this yeah, off the rack. I'm too big for that. <laughs> Good Lord. Do the Bulls give you a stipend for clothing? If... <laughs> that would be nice. It would be nice. That's the least they can do. Well, yeah. good to have you on. I know we had a little uh, fun last uh, block with the LeBron from the playoffs in that shove yeah. heard around the world. How often do you hear from Bulls fans about that incident? Uh, once a day, at least once a day, uh, you know, online, Twitter, all those type of things. Every time yeah. I'm in the streets, someone is uh, mentioning it. Overwhelmingly have... positive, I'm guessing. It's positive, but, you know, I've been trying to kind of downplay it. <laughs> you shouldn't, because really it was a love tap. I mean, it was, oh, my God. Look, can we talk about flopping in the NBA right now? And, and I know they keep, con what do they need to do to, to finally crack down on the flopping once and for all? So we get back to playing basketball, like when they played it like men with the bad boys and the bulls, and people breaking uh, each other's legs. Yeah, I'm definitely an uh, advocate of that. <laughs> I, I don't like the flopping. And, uh, you know, they got to let the NBA handle that one. Yeah. Well, you're, you're coming up on a, you had a really interesting year last year. Tough to crack Tom Thibodeau's rotation early on. Uh, and, and once you get at the end of that rotation with a guy like him, it, it can be tough. But not only do you get in the rotation, you become a main rotational guy, and, and then you get re-signed. Can you talk me through what that process was for, for like, uh, oh. last year? Yeah, it's just one of those situations. New team, uh, so, you know, coach is getting used to you, and you're getting used to coach. Uh, you know, I just kept working and uh, waiting for my opportunity to get out there on the court. And uh, it came when Joe went down for a little while, and I tried to make the best of, the, best of that opportunity. Have you gotten to see much of Derrick Rose at all in the offseason? Have you worked out with him? Have you seen him playing at all? I uh, saw him a little bit before uh, I went back to Kentucky, and he was looking great. He looks light, fit. Uh, he's, he looks like he was ready to go. you got to be excited, uh, obviously, to play with him. I mean, you get a chance to it all last year. Yes, I am. That's one of the major reasons why I came back. He's such a great young superstar, and I definitely want to get out there and play with him. Hey, talk about some of these these young guys on the Bulls, guys that are not high draft picks, guys like Jimmy Butler who come in. Is it a matter of just drafting the right guys, or is it more just the Bulls' way once they get in under Thibodeau? It's a, it's a mixture. Uh, yeah. You know, Gar and Tibbs and Pax have done a great job of pinpointing the guys that they want and getting them, and uh, then the system, Tibbs does a great job of coaching them into the system. Tell me a little bit about the event you have coming up tomorrow night, benefiting your foundation. Uh, yes, tomorrow night. It's almost here. Uh, it's, the not, it's my foundation's second uh, fundraiser. Uh, it's at Pazos, uh, 311 South Wacker. Uh, you can buy tickets for $75 at uh, nazimohammed.com. Uh, it's going to be a night of food, uh, open bar, uh, silent auction. Uh, we just have so many things going on, and we're, the funds are going towards some uh, local groups that we're going to unveil to, uh, tomorrow night. All right, 16th NBA season. How many are we going for? Are you going to retire uh, after this one, or how many more are we going? 16? Uh, as long as I'm healthy, I'm yeah. playing. It would be nice to reach 20. But 20? Hey, That's I'll Kareem take, territory right I'll there. I'll take 17 for now. I can't start forecasting that far ahead. Okay. Nazi Muhammad, thanks so much for uh, for joining us. Best of luck this season. We look forward to seeing the whole team back together. The Nazi Muhammad Foundation's second annual fundraiser uh, for charity is tomorrow night. Check out nazimuhammad.com for more information. Good to see you, my friend. Stay with us. We will be right back after this.